Hi, I'm Ray Cretia, and we're going to show you how to put together a personal weather station and put it on the internet so that you can show anyone, anywhere, what the weather conditions are like at your home. You can find out how hot it got, how cold it was, how much it rained, and that is a lot of fun. All I can do is share my experience. I'm not getting paid by anyone for this, and I'm doing it just for the fun of it. Once you decide how much information you need and evaluate your home layout, you'll probably need at least 10 different things. The first is the outside weather sensors. Second, something to hang it on to. Third, decide whether you need wireless or a cable unit. Number four, an inside receiving console unit. Fifth, a logging device to record the information from the console and then an, a wire to connect the logger to a computer, and seventh, a computer, eighth, software to collect the information and send it to the weather websites, number nine, a webcam, whether it's wired or wireless, and webcam software to send the images to the internet. It seems a bit complicated, but it is fairly logical and depends on what your location is like. First, you'll need a place to put your sensors, You'll need a site that is as far away from trees and buildings as possible and as far away from anything that prevents it from collecting rain or measuring the wind. Me, I have a rocky hillside with a lot of trees, so I wound up putting a tripod on top of my deck roof. The tripod screwed into the wood and it's just fine. The anemometer for wind direction I had to put up higher, attaching it to the chimney about 40 feet away so that it would catch the wind. If you have to do this though, please be careful. This part is downright dangerous. I am in my second anemometer though, after a direct lightning strike about a year ago. I chose a wireless Vantage Pro 2 system because my computer is not very close by and it would have been dangerous to cable it. This unit has a solar panel on it to keep the battery charged. This is the inside. This is the rain collector, which needs to be kept clean. It works by the water falling down and making this little seesaw rock back and forth for each one one hundredth of an inch of rain. This bottom unit is the temperature and humidity meter. There is a little fan that keeps the temperature even and not overheating with direct sunlight. The wireless range is 1,000 feet line of sight or about 200 feet if it goes through a wall, which mine does. With repeaters though, you could have your unit well over a mile away. Inside I have a very nice receiver console unit that could be mounted on a wall if I really just wanted the information and did not want to mess with the internet. I put mine next to my computer though so that I could mess with the internet. The first step was to install a data logger, a flash memory device that collects the information from the sensors so that it can be recalled by your computer at any time especially if your computer is offline at any time. I am pretty happy with my personal web station and I've had it for a couple of years now. The only real problem I've had is Windows and the software sometimes stops. Uh, usually resetting it helps. You know, I mentioned that webcam. That turned out to be fairly easy though. I had purchased a webcam bullet from Marshall Electronics because it is weatherproof and easy to install. It's really made for uh, surveillance purposes, but it is weatherproof. It does come with 60 feet of cable that powers the cam and brings the signal inside. This computer needs a TV capture card made by Hoppage that brings the signal into the computer. I looked around for a while and found webcam software that will read the camera and upload it to the Weather Underground website that I use. The program is called Yet Another Webcam, or Yaw Cam. It's free and it does the job very well and is fairly easy to set up. It was also the only one I found that worked with my board. Weather Underground marries the webcam picture with the weather information and makes it easy to use for other folks. If you don't want to mess with all that wiring and expansion card, you can get a USB webcam and stick it just about anywhere that's convenient. It all depends on what is close by and what you want to see online. You can use the wireless webcam if you wish. Yawcam or some of the other inexpensive programs should serve you fine. 
My biggest problem was getting a reasonably priced webcam that has a sharp picture of the landscape, as most webcams are made for message chats or surveillance. I hope this video kind of helps you get an idea of what you're getting yourself into. I know I've enjoyed it for the last couple of years. By the way, if you do find a high definition or a really sharp, clear webcam that doesn't cost a whole lot of money, I'd sure like to know about it. I'm Ray Cresha at your service.